Atheist Society of Kenya has called on the government to ban the practice of public viewing of the bodies of the deceased. Terming the practice as archaic, unhealthy and defunct, the association, through its president, Harrison Mumia, urged Kenyans to instead embrace cremation. I know, Cindy, there's a time that you are actually very pro-cremation. Yes, I am still am. Um, it's... I'm the proactive kind of person. My will is done. Both my family members know when my time comes, I want to be cremated. I don't see the need of me going to the ground to be fertilizer and for people to spend money on me when I have already passed on. Um, that is my point of view. However, I feel for people who get a bit of closure when they view the body and they have the whole ceremony until burial, it shouldn't be something that... Um, should be put like a caveat. If that's how people want to mourn, it's fine. There are people who are still mourning their loved ones who died in January and they have not been buried because there are some people who are overseas and haven't managed to travel. That is okay. Religious beliefs are not things or religious, traditional, or cultural beliefs are not things that can be enshrined in the Constitution because it's either to you or to me. So if that's what makes somebody happy, that's fine. You cannot now say, oh, it should be banned, it should be banned. I think there, Wame and Asana, let people mourn the way they feel is best for them. Yeah, you're right. And, you know, people grieve differently and mm. different things, you know, different things, sorry, um, are different to different people. I remember when I started, you know, when my Christian friends found out that as Muslims, we, you know, you bury in one day. And mm. I, I just, you know, growing up in such a conservative community where you didn't, I didn't have many friends where I knew their practices and what they followed. It was very shocking to them. But then you can imagine now us being told we also have to wait two weeks or yeah. three weeks. And yeah. it's not what we're used to. Mariam, I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, I went through quite an interesting journey when I read this story. At first, I was like, the atheists are too much in people's business. You know, why are you coming to tell other people how to mourn their dead, how to do this, how to, whether or not to view bodies? And then it, I caught myself and I was like, but religion is also in everybody else's business and is always trying to propagate itself. So I can't really blame the atheists for trying to propagate what they think is right. Um, I would say that we can ignore it peacefully because we are a secular state. We don't follow any religion or any lack of. So I, like Cindy said, it's an either or do what makes you happy but uh, I feel like atheists get also dragged a lot unfairly and they're just trying to do what they think is right they're trying to yeah. be neutral yeah they're trying to be the neutral parties in this situation so I mean go them but either way we'll do what we need to do mm. and also you can still view a body and cremate it they made it seem like those two things can't happen at the same time you can yeah. still have a viewing and then a cremation later well, personally, I think this is my own very personal opinion I'm declaring. I think Harrison Mumia is just a socialite. He wants the press. He wants people to talk about atheists in Kenya. This is not a religious function. The viewing of a body, the body has never been a religious function. Yeah. It's just a thing, and it's optional. You don't need to ban something that is optional. Mm. The only thing, the only credit, and uh, the only thing he would have said about this body is just, just a few months ago, like six, seven months ago, it was illegal to come even close to a dead body that is in a casket because of health issues. Because of you remember COVID, because yeah. of COVID. <clears throat> so now, uh, a few months later, that has changed an open casket and uh, people are viewing body up close and no one is, seems to worry about it. People are shaking hands. People are, all that is gone now. Also, the other thing is that culturally, if this is what you believe, you know, culture is like, just like religion. Yeah. If this is what you believe and you believe you'll get closure by going to see the body. There are people who want to believe that really for sure we've lost our third president. I want to go and see the body lying there. Go and do it. Mm. There's but no problem. Quite, I agree. COVID demand, I want the story. Uh, yeah, because, that's, that's, you know, we've just been warned. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just waiting for the book that will yeah. be written about this whole fiasco of COVID and yeah. what really happened. There's a wave coming, according to scientists, like in uh, May and June, like mid-May to... Another alphabet to, wave. Yeah, it? another, the, whichever letter of the alphabet is next, so Goodness. stay safe. You know, I was seeing Americans the other day uh, reacting all sorts of ways when their government uh, now finally lifted the wearing of masks inside planes. Uh, and I was like, we never wore masks in planes here f since day one. We, I mean, I still wear, <laughs> we do still. I still wear my mask a lot, but it's for yeah. privacy reasons. It has nothing to do with... <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I mean, has someone listen. ever recognized you with a cap, sunglasses, and a mask? And Can you just like... Yeah. Yes. You, you can only see this. You can see my eyebrows. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so people. many times. So oh, it's so oh. creepy. And at that point, I'm like, you know what? Let me even remove my wig because what <laughs> am I even now trying to cover? I'm in a ninja. You're like, I mean, let's take a selfie. I'm like, how did you see that? But shout out to the viewers of the trend. So I know I have to go to the next story, but real quick, because we were talking about death and just practices that are, you know, 
different practices. Right. I don't know if you guys saw this. There was a rapper who passed away in the States. Mm -hmm. And then because it is what that, you know, apparently this is what the family said. It's what he would have wanted. So they propped him up in a club. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see that? I did. I did. Propped him up in a club and they played like his music and they did like an hour or two. A proper yeah. disco. A matanga. proper, yes, yeah, send off. You saw that? <laughs> yeah, I that did. a proper disco matanga. Literally. At the front, like you A dead man in the club. Standing. I mean, standing. He was propped up <laughs> and next to the DJ. It's very common in New Orleans. My sister settled in New Orleans and she told me it's a very common thing. If, for example, the guy liked to gamble, they yeah. even funeral homes that say, what do you want? What did he like? They'll set it up for you. They'll put a gambling table. Yeah. If there's a guy who liked to play golf, they would set it up for you. It's a very common thing. Wow. So I, 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 I find it creepy. I'm saying, Cindy, that it is common out there. Even here, if you are drunk at the whole night before you are buried, <laughs> no, but how how she say, okay. we pour, no, so, so, how she say we take you quite to 1824? That's like, I want you to imagine that. No, if but you okay. want to take me to 1824, take me now. What? Not when I... No, when you pass on. No, it's not after. We take you now. Yes. <laughs> That's so silly. Okay. So do we take a quick break or we continue with the next... Oh, man, we talked for too long, you guys. We talked for too long.